Hey everybody, my name is Beck and thank you for clicking on today's video. We will be reviewing the Steelcraft Stride Up Pram. So if you want to know how we rate it, then stay tuned. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy what you're watching. Click that red subscribe button if you want to join us on this YouTube adventure and let's get into it. If this is our first time meeting, thank you so much for tuning into the video. We are currently expecting our third Bobby. I am 37 weeks pregnant. We bought a Steelcraft Strider pram for our firstborn who is now four years old. And we use that pram for both Amira and Zoe. So we've had it for about four years and we've used it really consistently. We love our original pram so much. And the only reason why we're upgrading is because our pram has been used to death and it's not the most stable pram anymore and seeing as we would love to have four kids what better time to upgrade the pram than for bub number three while we were still trying everything out the lady who was the spokesperson for the brand did say that the capsule should technically fit so we're fingers crossed that it is otherwise we have a couple of weeks to figure out what we're going to do about that so Without further ado, we're going to get the pram out of the box, see how easy it is to assemble it and to put the adaptions in. We didn't realize that we had been using our original pram wrong for the last four years. <laughs> Michael's just put the pram in and the one thing that I have realized, which is a clear obvious thing, is that our last pram was this color here and this latest pram is a different color. So our capsule isn't going to match the pram, but I don't think that's going to be a big deal. So let's get to unboxing. Oh, that's so sweet. I I did not see that in the shops. That's awesome. Top seat can take 20, but the bottom seat can only take 16. Well then, baby will go on the bottom and Zoe will go on top. Where's the... Is there a way to put this adapter down the bottom then? Don't think so. I, I think... thought there was. Didn't she try and sell us on the idea that you could put the capsule down the bottom? I am pretty sure she... I remember her. Yeah. Telling us that there was a way to put... Zoe up the top and Bobby down the bottom. We're 
in order to get the capsule to go down the bottom, we ended up having to watch a YouTube video because taking the second seat off the frame was really difficult. So that's probably the only negative that we have about this pram is trying to get it so that you have only the frame to put the capsule down the bottom was really hard, like so tricky, and it was definitely a two-person job. But other than that, we're really impressed with this pram. We think it's really easy to maneuver. It has great features. You can have this seat either facing forward or facing you as the driver of the pram, I guess you could say. For our little family, because Zoe is over 16 kilograms, she needs to be in the top pram because that's the maximum capacity, which is fine. Um, once she does get over 20 kilograms though, then this will become bub seed and by then Zoe will probably be old enough and have more stamina to not need a pram as much. The only time we'd probably use a pram is if we went to the zoo or we're going out along the beach or something like that. We don't really want to be carrying them. This is probably going to be a bit of a shock for Amira because it'll be the first time in her four years of living that having the pram won't be an option for her because she's one over the weight limit and two we don't have the seats for her anymore so once bub gets old enough we'll probably put them in the top and get rid of that second seat until bub number four comes and then yeah it'll just be a game of musical chairs i guess overall we are loving the new features of the pram we're loving the fact that it's very similar to the old pram so we know our way around it we know how to use it and it's not something that's completely new it is comforting having things that are familiar to use when i did have a look at baby bunting i didn't see any baby capsules but Michael and I are pretty comfortable with using this capsule it's still fine it's still safe there's no big issues besides the color difference but even then because it's sitting at the bottom it doesn't really look that bad if you've liked watching this video please give it a big thumbs up it really does support my channel don't forget to hit the red subscribe button if you want to join us on our rainbow baby journey and our growing family and all the adventures we'll get up to and tap the bell if you want to get notified when we upload next because this parenting gig doesn't come with a rule book we only have each other and I'll see you in my next video.